Diaper Change. Welcome to another episode. Today we're talking about Amazon's latest brick and mortar concept, Amazon Four Star. This came out of nowhere yesterday. I heard news that Amazon would be opening up a brand new retail store in Soho called Amazon Four Star. Now this is different from Amazon Go, where you can just walk out and buy food. It's different than Amazon Books, their bookstore concept, a totally new retail concept. And there, it was opening in Soho, which is like a 10 minute walk from where I'm filming this right now. So, and it opened today. So of course I had to go down to Soho and check it out. And I was absolutely blown away. Um, it, it, it's hard to even, uh, like I almost don't even know where to start to explain what this concept is. Um, it sort of reminded me of something like an upscale techie version of like Target or Kmart or Walmart. It, it's just a really fascinating store that had so many different random kinds of things like home goods, you know, kitchenware, toys for all different sorts of ages. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna play you at the clips that I got from in the store because they're, like there's just, it, it's almost impossible for me to get to all the categories. They had the computers, electronics, the Amazon ring system, which is the personal security device that they have, all the Amazon speakers, the echoes, they even had some books there. Um, so just a really fascinating store. I would almost call it like a gift store. And, and um, I talked to a couple of the Amazon employees there. I mean, this was opening day. So there was like a, a CNBC truck right outside. It was sort of like crazy. Um, the store was packed with people. Um, everyone seemed to be having a good time. Um, I absolutely was, was just blown away with how like relatable I was to every product or how almost every single product interested me, even stuff that I wouldn't normally buy, like kitchen goods. They have this crazy like craft beer growler thing. Um, and, and the one common theme of the store um, that Amazon has said is that it's everything in the store has, has to be rated four star and above on Amazon. That's why it's called four star. Every product is high quality that people love. Additionally, there's sort of a local flair to the store, um, which I didn't really get at first, but the employees were saying it's not just using data to curate what's in the store, but it's also using uh, data to curate what New Yorkers in particular want in a store. And then that's how they're sort of, uh, you know, putting different things on the shelves. And so, you know, I asked the employees if they had any plans to expand this concept. Would they open more stores? Of course, they couldn't tell me anything, but my guess is they're going to expand this concept like crazy. So now Amazon has a three pronged approach at physical retail with the Amazon bookstores, the Amazon Go, and now the Amazon Four Star, which all appear to be expanding like crazy. And then of course you got Whole Foods on the back burner as well. My biggest takeaway from the store and what has me so excited about it and so bullish on it, you might be like, why? Well, they're just copying Target. They're just copying Amazon or Kmart or whatever. Like. Why is this such an exciting concept in store? Because unlike all those other, you know, old school legacy brick and mortar retailers, Amazon is leveraging the data in its online store um, that it has amassed over years and years to curate what is in this physical retail location. It's a data first approach based on already knowing what customers want and buy and love and putting that in the store versus randomly choosing what you think customers will want, which is what every other legacy, you know, brick and mortar retailer does. Data first curation curation approach is the biggest overarching theme um, that I, I felt from the store. And then an employee was even saying like they'll, they'll place a certain product on the shelf and every product around it is sort of related to that product. And if you were interested in one of them, you might be interested in all of them. So there's a lot of very subtle things going on in the store. I mean, you could try a lot of the products. Um, one of the most fascinating in-store things that they had there was the Roomba. They had a huge setup for um, iRobot, which is you know a publicly traded company actually. And they make these robots that can clean your house and, and do all that sort of stuff. So if there's a mini moonshot I took away from this, I believe Amazon will buy iRobot. They, it, it, it was integrated with Alexa. You could just be like, hey Alexa, like send the Roomba out. I need to clean up the room. And just a ton of synergies there. And it was probably the biggest non-core Amazon display in the whole store was iRobot. So Moonshot Monday, Amazon buys iRobot. Um, and you know, every robot in your home is Alexa enabled. There's also a rumor that Amazon, now I'm getting off a little tangent, but there's also a rumor that Amazon is tex testing like a robotic, like human sort of, or like physical version of Alexa that can go around your house and do tasks for you. And apparently that's actually being tested in employee homes this year, um, according to a Bloomberg report earlier. And so um, I don't know if they could buy iRobot and lever their, leverage their technology to, to, to boost their own home robot um, sort of experience. But I think Amazon is going all into this concept of sort of like owning your home, which I thought was really interesting. Um, you know, like I said, they had a huge setup for Ring, which is the company they recently acquired, which is sort of like a smart doorbell and security company. So this is the 
it's it's just so fascinating for you to see Amazon, this e-commerce company, now sort of 180 pivot their business model and go all into brick and mortar. I mean, if you exclude Whole Foods, just Amazon Go, Books, and now Amazon Four Star, they probably only have around 10 or 15 stores open worldwide. But each of these concepts could have hundreds, if not thousands of stores potentially. I mean, Amazon Go, the convenience store, could have tens of thousands of stores globally. Amazon Books could have a couple thousand. Amazon Four Star could have a couple thousand. These are all new growth avenues for Amazon. Um, and, I, and I'm excited about all of them because Amazon has this data advantage. And that's sort of the biggest thing I took away from this is that it, the ability to access data on what people are buying makes, and, and putting that into a, a brick and mortar store makes it so much of a fun experience. Like I hate shopping. I hate going to stores, but I had a blast at the Amazon store because everything was four stars. It looked, everything looked high quality. All the stuff was kind of quirky and fun. And like there was no wasted space and it wasn't actually even that big of a store despite having all of this still sort of processing like why is amazon doing this you know what's the strategy with having all these different retail concepts i really think amazon is just sort of you know uh, trying and testing different methods seeing what works but if one thing is clear it's that they have realized you will not be buying everything online Amazon is making a serious push into brick and mortar. The latest is this four star store in Soho. You all gotta go check it out if you're in New York City. Um, it's just a glimpse into the future of shopping. That is the simplest way I can put it. Um, and uh, once again, of course, another amazing way for Amazon to you know generate more buzz for Prime, uh, to get pe more people hooked on Alexa. You know, it's all just sort of funneling into the Amazon ecosystem through this four-star store. So I thought it was epic. Um, I would love to know what you guys think. I would love to know what you all think in the comments below. Like, do you think this is going to take off? Um, were you able to go check out the store? What did you think? Um, just let me know. Um, also, if you like the show, definitely check out our Patreon page and consider supporting there. Huge shout out to all of our current Patreons. It means a ton. Anyway, this is Hyper Change. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.